All right, so for those of you just tuning in, we're about to do a 3v5 on the map Oasis between me and the viewers. Today, I'm going to be playing as the Indians because that is the civ that you guys have overwhelmingly voted in the Twitch chat that I should play, so we're going to do that. And this is going to be a mixed rated match, of course, uh, 3v5 because this is the best way for me to include a lot of my lower rated players and still have balanced teams to the point where I get to actually play rather than just watch the paint dry. If we do a 4v4, no fun for anybody, because then I don't get to put on my pseudo tryhard pants. Still going to be a relaxing game, of course. I'm going to do a, more of a fun strategy this time. I think the plan is to go for a camel rush, which I did kind of recently on my YouTube channel, but I didn't really commit to it. The goal in that game was to highlight the elephant archers and how effective they can be if the stars align. Yeah, so in this game, I think, uh, I think I'm going to go more along the lines of Imperial Camels, because the Indians are a civilization added in the Forgotten expansion to AV2 HD on Steam, and basically, Indians, uh, you know, kind of an interesting civ, not not really as uh, as good as I, th I hope they would be, but they're, they're still very fascinating. They have two unique units. They have an upgrade to the Heavy Camel, which is, of course, a anti-cavalry cavalry unit. This is quite, quite fast. They got an upgrade to that. Uh, it's the Imperial Camel. And in addition, they also have another unique unit, the Elephant Archer, which they build at the castle. Now, camels, they, they really like, the developers very much wanted to make the Indians be able to raid with camels, because one of the main things with their civ is they actually do not have access to knights. Which is not the greatest thing in the universe. Knights, a very, very powerful, kind of ubiquitous unit that everybody and their mother uses. And, well, we don't, we don't get those. Uh, they're kind of like the ideal Castle Age unit, very, very hard uh, to deal with in the early game, but, you know, in the later game, it, there are more efficient ways of dealing with them, with, like, Halbs. So, yeah, we, we, don't, we don't get Knights, so instead we have Camels. Now, Camels are normally a very bad rating unit, and you won't usually see players making you know, too many of them, or at least they won't be using them offensively. They'll usually be using those, like, mixed in with Knights as a counter to uh, enemy Knights. And that's because... For whatever reason, camels, their armor, their armor type is actually classified the same as ships. And that means that they take extra damage from structures that shoot arrows like town centers, castles, and watchtowers. <laughs> I should place my my starting path strategically, indeed, uh, John Fizz. However, when I'm streaming, uh, you know, as always, guys, my attention is divided between playing the game, reading the Twitch chat, and trying to provide a meaningful commentary, so I don't have the I don't have the ability to manage all that mumbo jumbo at once. And yeah, some of the opponents, I think, still listen to it, and that's okay. I seem to have a very, very awesome uh, community that believes in fair play, so I'm assuming they're not, you know, even if they are listening, they don't, they don't, you know, exploit it, I guess. So back under the whole camels thing, their armor is classified as, as ships, and that's a, a fascinating little way to balance the game out, because that means that they are not super good rating units, because they get mowed down by castles, town centers, uh, watchtowers, and whatever. And which is kind of bad, because when you're raiding, you usually are going to end up taking a couple hits from... Oh, is this not the center wood? Full it again, this was not the ideal place for a lumber camp. Probably could have uh, gone to that one. So yeah, that means that they take, you know, bonus damage from those structures, and you're going to be, you know, getting hit by town centers while you're raiding. Ideally, you try to avoid that, but, you know, you, you know you're going to take a couple town center shots here and there as you're looking for those exterior vulnerable villagers, and since the camels get mowed down so much faster than knights, which already they don't take bonus damage, and they have two pierce armor... So they take two less damage uh, per arrow shot. Well, knights are just a better, better option. Knights also have more attack. Camels are a counter unit, not very much of an offensive unit in their own right. Unless you're the Indians. Because the Indians have a couple interesting changes to them that make their knights, in theory, a viable raiding unit. Hello. Oh, let's see where oh, another door's up there. Okay, yeah. In theory, a viable raiding unit because they have more armor than usual. They got like a little bit of extra bonus armor and a bonus attack versus building, so they're, you know, like uh, like knights, they're actually able to take down some buildings uh, in the game. So, you never know, you never know, and you can also up upgrade those to uh, Imperial Camels where they've just become a lot stronger. So, Indian Camels, kind of threatening, and the Indians already have a pretty strong economy because their villagers cost a teeny bit less food. So, in theory, this might work, you never know. And no, CJs, I haven't... I covered this in some of my more recent uploads, but uh, I have not watched The Wars Coming Final, so preferably don't spoil that for me in the Twitch chat, guys. Uh, yeah, spoiler alert, I know a Tyrant team wins, but, you know... <laughs> don't spoil that for me, because I plan to still cast maybe a game or two from the, the finals. Let me know if you guys still want me to do that, because I am... I'm super down to go do that. I know that Zero Empires has already casted the games, and Boobly has as well, but I, I didn't have a chance to go watch his, his cast of the games yet, because... 
I've been so busy with uh, classwork. Got final exams coming up. And I still would like to cast some of them. You guys have told me that even though Zero Empires is cast, that most of you seem to still want to, uh, to see my commentary. Really, the reception has been very, uh, very positive, so glad to hear it, guys. Do a couple of those. I have more stuff on the way for that. Please do. We'll do. All right. I'll put down a down a mining camp. See, so yeah, Camel Rush. Maybe maybe it could work. I don't know. I don't know. The Indians are fascinating. Civ. One of the reasons why they're not as good as I thought they would be is because they're missing a couple key upgrades, and that's kind of the trend that you see with a lot of uh, forgotten civs that just seem to be lacking uh, in a, in a couple categories. In this case, it's because well, they don't have uh, all the blacksmith upgrades in the game. Actually, they're missing quite a few. Which would have been real nice. And I think that's just balancing out the fact that... Some extra sheep, that's good. Balancing out the fact that their hand cannoneers have, like, an extra extra one range is one of their unique techs. So they don't get the max level defense upgrade for their uh, range units like hand cannoneers. And that could be pretty crippling. Oh yeah, I'll see. Do I not have any deer? I mean, it's fine if I don't. Yep, yeah, scout around, do some stuff, make some camels, get down tonight. Get down two nights. Make a farm. Why not? All right. Oh, thank you, Martin Stoneheart. I am doing great. Welcome to the stream. It's kind of the spring, so you know things are things are a little bit on the rougher side. But you know, nothing nothing motivates me to get into bed uh, than to just play some AOE with you guys and just hang out a little bit. Always really really fun. I probably have too many lumberjacks in retrospect. Let's probably like shift a couple of those dudes onto food. Because uh, the goal is, is if I'm going for a camel rush and you don't get camels till the castle age, I need to advance through some ages and start stockpiling that food, stockpiling some gold. Make sure that when I hit the feudal age, I basically have exactly the amount uh, of resources that I need to build like a blacksmith a market and just go up to the next age. So that's pretty swell. Could hunt those deer. Could do that. I don't know. Probably do that, actually. Yeah, I'll do that. Indecision 2015. Just to buy Resonance 22. Oh my. Oh yeah, of course, Gamer. I mean, really, I don't have the uh, attention span to do all that fancy micro shenanigans when I'm streaming, even though, even though I would do it, you know, off stream. AoE 2 is a really fun game to play, but it is not the ideal game to stream just because it requires such a, you know, such an attention span. I don't know. You have to, like, really focus on this game because there's just so much shit you have to be doing. Uh, like, at, at all times, this game has an... This game has an amazing amount of multitasking in it, and, well, that is not very conducive to reading the chat and, and, and talking, but I, I do my best. This means no sheep scouting. You'd rather watch me do something else. Yeah, I mean, uh, there hasn't been that many good expert games outside of War is Coming, Mitch, so I haven't been able to do any of that. Mostly because all the pros are playing War is Coming. <laughs> the, all the pros are in the tournament, so it's been a lot... Should I build a mining camp right here, guys? What do you think? All the pros are in Wars coming, so that makes it a lot harder to find good quality expert games. Not all the pros, obviously, but, you know, a good chunk of them are in Wars coming, so... Really don't have too much of a choice from an uh, expert game standpoint. Still do some of those anyway. Tried that report Twitch, uh... You tried to report that Twitch problem? That I sucked. <laughs> but it didn't make me any better. <laughs> Oh, keep reporting me to Trades. Uh, you know, something something good will come out of it at some point, I'm sure of it. I just haven't really been able to play too much AoE recently because of final exams, but it's always fun when I get to. Oh, don't don't split between the deer. Oh, that's right. Good stuff. Up to the next stage. Gonna build some stuff. Go to the castle age. Yeah. Just review your games. You're pro enough. Tell me more. Tell me more. Put the market over there, why not? Hello, Manga died. Is he playing as the Mongols? He's not! What? Crazy people. I'll tell you. Some mid level or entry level casting. I don't know, people. I don't know. <laughs> I'll definitely cast some, you know, uh, some of the lower mid level games just to give you guys some feedback, but. I mean, that's like a different type of thing, and I've done that many times before. I have like a series on that. Probably do some of those, but it's not as a replacement, just extra stuff, you know. Oh, thanks for following the stream, uh, Mitch and Artichoke Hold. Alright, so 
This tells me it's time to put down one of those one of those barracks type things. One of them barracks. Uh, double bit axe is very good technology. It's just scouting around doing stuff. I mean, probably should be scouting my flank more to see what he's up to, but I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, buddy. Oh, Straw Hat Monk, he's clearly new to AWE2 HD. He's not aware that the delay is high enough that I can take advantage of that. <laughs> you enjoy watching noob games? That's good to hear, uh, Rigism. I will do some of those, or Rigzism. I'll do some of those. So, uh, stable's in order. Eco could be, again, you know, substantially better optimized, but... Ain't nobody got time for that. Find my lack of wood disturbing. Also, be smart if I find a way to wall this area up. Try and get Mangadide off of my. I mean, not Mangadide, uh, Phoenix grabbing. Try to keep him away from me. Dude, could be spooky. Stable going up. I don't like any wood whatsoever. Okay. This person's idle, that's not good. More scouting, more scouting. Heard it? Yeah, I have heard of Age of Empires uh, Castle Siege over Droid Soup. Never played it, though. Do you guys play it? Seems to be somewhat reasonably popular. Uh, we'll uh, build another lumber camp over here. Why not? Get Bloodline? Sure. Eh, get upgrades. I'm floating so much food. Why not? Sure. <laughs> hey, uh, Shimazo. Welcome. Alright, uh, first camel will be built as soon as Bloodlines is done. Gotta get some upgrades to make those things slightly scarier than usual. Might as well get Wheelbarrow, screw it! Why not? Get huge. We're on one stable. The power, the threats. My eco, I can already tell this is gonna be a problem, actually, because I don't have, like, any farms, so my food income is, like, purely temporary. Oh, man. Oh, god, and there's a wolf, too? Oh, jeez. I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need more farm stat, but the camel is coming out. That's what I like to see. I ain't got the money, Elkabong. Don't know the money. Now, if you're wondering where the new new subscriber emotes are for Twitch, I have not been able to add those in because. Wow, thank you so much, Base, for your donation. My war is coming stuff is the shit. Thank you. Wow, I appreciate it. So. I need I need more I need more subs before I'm allowed to submit more emotes. There's like a minimum requirement uh, for that, and I don't I don't meet that number. We, we had a hundred, and then uh, people didn't renew this uh, subscription. So GG. Thank you, Kmart Toaster. Appreciate it. Gonna need to say Mars forever every time I lose a villain monk this game. Oh no, it's gonna be tough. Hey, I found one of Phoenix's sheep. I'll, I'll send it to him because I'm a nice guy, and then I'm gonna send him some camels too because I'm not so uh, not that nice of a guy. Ooh, 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 I like to see this. Wherever this is going, I like it. Should I just buy? Fuck it, yeah, I'll buy I'll buy my way to another TC. Oh, that's just great. Protect my wood line. Yeah, sure, why not? Buy my way to another TC. Wait, why is my scout going this way? Oh, he must have walled himself off from his teammates entirely. Where did I, where did I send my camels? Oh, what the hell? Oh my god, he must have built a wall. Unit pathing, boys! Going the other way! <laughs> what was... See, is he rushing with light cavalry? Tell me more about this strategy of yours, eh? I need to take notes. What the fuck? Okay, uh, where are the camels? Gosh, that's infuriating. If I attack move, do they just... Do they still actually go in the direction I send them? I wonder. Ooh. Uh, Polcupine, or Polcupine. Oh, like Porcupine. Porcupine, I get it. it. Says, good evening from London. Thank you. Good afternoon from the United States. Let me find this wall. What's that wall? What's this? Archers? Isn't he in my pocket? Why is my pocket being rushed by archers? What the hell? What's going on? Ah, our mythal! Oh, vote with money. War is coming was great. Do more? Thank you, dude. Yeah, those those are a lot of work, but the positive reception, again, has been phenomenal, so I appreciate it, you guys. Feedback is the way to go. Constructive feedback helps me out a lot. Oh, God, look at that attack bonus versus buildings. We're already in there. We're already in his base. 
<laughs> Wait, was Camel Rush? Don't worry, I'll move on soon. He's got to kill a couple villagers as tribute. What's going on over here? Oh, look at this. See, uh, you can tell though that the camels don't—they don't take hits very well. Camel rush, boys. It's good. It's good. Stop building houses. I'm trying to do. <laughs> Sorry, man. I losing my touch. I'm building houses. Oh, I actually lost a camel off that. Oh God! Look at the damage we're doing to this poor guy. Oh man, he's trying to counter me with spearmen. You can't. Camels walk into a bar. There's no counter. Actually, you know, I'm probably just gonna GTFO. I've done enough damage to him. Then I'll go the other way and just wall him off. Sounds like a plan. If I'm gonna do that, I need some stone. Stonewall this man off. See those wolves? Uh... That's a good place to put this. That's fine. I mean, this is this feels this feels inefficient and wrong, but screw it. I don't want to get attacked. It's a flexible, relaxed game. Got time. Build the Great Wall of India. Sure. <laughs> really, uh, porcupine. That kind of sucks. It's funny, but it sucks. <laughs> Can't say that's happened to me yet. That's not my gold mine, is it? Fuck. I do. I hate terrain. It's just remove terrain from the game. <laughs> it really should. Oh, well, thank you for the the nation, uh, Super Ranger. You guys have been really generous today. Appreciate it. That's the sweetest. Fuck, no stone. All right. Well, I'll, I'll send those camels across the rest of the map. I don't want. I don't want to kill Phoenix Gravid, man. That's too cruel. So we go. We're going the long way. We're going on a journey. But yeah, seriously, I, I think Skynetto actually flushed my pocket with archers, and I like that. In fact, it looks like he's still doing this. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm aware that I'm not killing him, but uh, I, I I play for fun, guys. That's the thing. I feel like if some people take uh, take this game too seriously. This is a game where you scout with sheep. I don't know, man. <laughs> and I love some serious AV2, but th this is this is uh, this is different. Not my super serious business AV2. That comes later. Should probably build my wall with more vills, I think. I don't have this area explored, so I'm gonna have to fix that. Where are the camels? I need husbandry. Faster, boys! Oh, it's so expensive! Oh, God, it's so fucking expensive. Ah, I wish our missile, that'd be cool. Nailed it. I really I really don't want Phoenix Graven to have a bad game, because I know he's new. I know he's new to the game, and nothing is worse when you're new to the game and you get rushed by somebody who somewhat knows what he's doing. Nothing is worse than that feeling. I want to make sure that he has a chance at least, you know? I'll kill some of his teammates who are getting all uppity. But uh, he can wait. He's no threat right now, anyway. I mean, the, uh, normally, like, it's a good idea to, you know, attack the more competent players, although Skynetto appears to be quite weak as well because he's been committing real hard on these archers. The problem with Oasis is it's really hard for me to be able to do that in a, in a reasonable way because everybody is so bloody far from me and I can't just run through the trees. That'd be nice. <laughs> Sounds good, Vulcubine. Yeah, for a camel rush, I'm only on one stable. I might actually have to just go straight through Phoenix Graven and just you know, kill somebody else. Might have to just go straight through him. Is Skynetto open? Can I run around him? Can I run around him? Oh! Thank you for the uh, the donation, Martin Stone Art. Appreciate it. My, my monitors are like out of sync with each other, so. Might take that a second for that to show up. Appreciate it. A lot of that money goes to like things like allergy filter fans, college expenses, giveaways, uh, just miscellaneous like food expenses for me. Appreciate it. it. Helps me out a lot. Thanks to you guys, I've actually been able to buy these really, really nifty and yet somewhat expensive things. Uh, it's called like a germ guardian. It's really cool. What it does is it filters out. They're like these fans, super high tech fans that filter out all the dust pollen and just, you know, everything I'm allergic to in the air. 
so which is just super great, but it's kind of expensive because I have to keep replacing the HEPA filters. But yeah, I actually have the money to be able to do that. It's pretty swell. Hello, Straw Hat Monk. I've come for you. Hey, Arjunin. Welcome. So yeah, when I get back up to 100 subs, and if we can stay there, then we get a bunch of new emotes. That's just the Twitch requirement. Might have to build like a siege workshop and actually start huffing and puffing and blowing this man, blowing this man down. I love the noise the camels make when they die. It is just it's the greatest, it's the greatest. Oh, wolves, 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 wolf Mageddon. I think that Vil might be dead. She might be dead. She's dead. I think that other one might be dead too. Send another one. Keep sending them in one at a time, and it's bound to work eventually. Maybe the wolf will get bored, tired of eating villager meat. Dude, maybe ready, Teddy. I'm, I'm working on the farming simulator. We're not quite there yet. We're not quite there, Jeff Burtonax. I'm on the way. I do draw the emotes myself, yes, which is why it takes so long. But hey, if anyone's like a really good artist and you want to do... Did I just... Did I kill an entire army with my camels? This shit's OP. I'm telling you. When did I do that? I guess I did that. Is everyone stonewalled off? Like, have all my, have all the enemies just stonewalled themselves off? They've become their own independent nation that don't need no teammates? What the hell? Apparently I killed an entire army. I don't know, man. But yeah, if I ever meet somebody who, uh... If, if anyone wants to volunteer and do some sick emote art... Because here's the thing. They have to be, like, a really tiny resolution. They have to look good in a really tiny square resolution. Not everything makes a good emote. Uh, it looks good in that type of resolution, so... It's tricky business. This look good at all types of resolutions. I need like another TC next to the wood, but this fucking... <laughs> Whatever, man. This is the next best thing to a TC. Next best thing. More camels. Uh, university is a good thing, I think. Build some stuff. Should totally have vil rushed. Damn right. Yeah, what is this What is this shit, by the way? Everybody's, everybody's gone full turtle mode. You guys are a team. Like, literally, like, Phoenix Gravens all walled himself off, too. That's a lot of gates you got there. Okay. I, mean, I see how it is. Camel Rush denied. They got sick of my camels. Indeed, they get sick of my camels. My, my. That's, that's actually horrifying. Oh, my. How horrifying. Let's get one of them castles. Check that eco a little bit. Hold down the shift key, build houses faster. Secret to success, guys. Building lots of bills. Oh, shnitz. He's countered me. It's not fair. I think, uh, where's my other stone mine? Hey! Boy fix. There's really, like, no good places to put DCs, but I need another one. Blech. Ech, 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 ech. Hey, Torminix! How are you doing? Hello, hard sale strategist. More farms, more vills. Gotta get that huge eco, half the max pop of the game. Rolling. We need a lot of food for a lot of camels. Just slow down a little bit in the camel production, though, just because I'm uh, trying to advance some point this year. Wall still not finished yet, 13 years later, my goodness. Oh, we'll get there, guys. Oh, camera rushing, it's too strong, average gamer. You know it's you know what's up. Hey Lex. Nice. Uh hand cart, sure. A little late on that. Yeah, look at all these walls. Good lord. There's 13 different layers of walls. This guy's too defensive. How will I ever kill them if they have walls? This guy finished yet? Build me another gate. More vills, more vills. Castle's done, that's good. Job's done. Okay. You Jiko rolling, just gotta get just gotta get my boom on. You know, I feel like Res Boom would not make the most amazing emote. Well, what I was thinking of doing, at least for the new emotes, uh, what I have so far is res, res Rigged, Res Boom, and Res Vap seem to be really popular ideas. 
Seriously, guys, res now. <laughs> People seem to have the this idea that like during during breaks, I am just masturbating furiously. Like I'm just that I'm just that horny of a guy. And you know, while 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 I while I have a libido, I don't know if it's quite I don't know if it's quite in that level, guys. But either way, people can speculate all they want. Who knows, maybe I actually do that. Ugh. No, I don't. You guys seem to really want that as an emote, so sure. Uh, I have like a, I think I have like a tissue box for that. We're gonna call it res tissue though, j j because terms of service. So, I got, like a, I got like a tissue box, that's fine. Uh, and I have like a pair of uh, dice that rolled snake eyes, because that's what you guys said the uh, res rig should look like. And sure, that makes an icon. Because I wasn't quite sure what res rig would actually look like in icon form, but I guess that makes sense. So I got a pair of dice. One of the next age. And then I have uh, I've got a tissue box. And for Res Boom, I got like an explosion. But I really don't know if Res Boom would make a good emote. I mean, how often can you use that emote, you know? I feel like it's something that we should be able to use in like conversation. You just don't just explosion. I don't know, an explosion's not too much of an emote, I guess. Sure I boom a lot, but I don't know. I don't know, man. But like rigged, you could use it in all sorts of stuff. It doesn't even have to be AOE2. Lots of things are rigged. So I, I kind of see the uh, the use for res rigged. And yeah, I mean, we, yeah, and, and, and the tissue box as well, you know, like whenever I'm, whenever I bring up allergies, I can use the tissue box. Whenever I did do a commercial break, man, get to the tissue box. Well, how often do you use the boom? I don't know, man. Use the boom every game? <laughs> sure. So I was thinking it was like, for the, the third emote, because again, we, once we get to 100 subs, guys, we actually have to get there first. Uh, I'm still short a couple of those. Uh, I don't know, we could do like a Res Steve emote. But again, I don't know how often we could use Steve either. Maybe there maybe there are better ideas. Emotes that are, that can be used uh, more often. I don't know, man. I'm open to suggestions as always. I draw myself, so it takes some time. But I don't know, man. Res Laxatory? Oh, let's do it. Okay, so, uh, haven't, not too much has happened super recently in this game. Just getting upgrades and stuff. Gotta get to the next stage. Transitioning and stuff. Ever tried massing capped rams? No. I tried massing siege rams. Massing capped rams sounds really, really bad. I want that gold. Really use more of that gold. It's time to work on a trade line. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Started that one out. Hey, looks like some wolves are uh, blocking the trade line. It's not. It's not cool. Okay, got a pretty fat eco actually. Oh, everything's too expensive. Give me some of these upgrades. I'm just gonna upgrade literally everything. Sure, uh, Shimazu. Yeah, by all means. I encourage everybody to friend me on Steam. It's just I have a limited number of friends. Another place where donations go is they help me get trading cards to upgrade my Steam account. It's a pain in the ass, but I do it. Leveled it up a shitload recently, and I'm gonna have to level it up again because there's so many of you guys. Uh, I'll get, I'll get to it. I need another siege workshop. Y you may have noticed that even though I have like nothing but camels, uh, I'm, I'm throwing in other unit production buildings. Why? Because it's so easy to counter, you know, the, the same type of unit. Like, you really don't want to be making only one type of unit, even if you see me doing it for fun. Uh, it, don't, it doesn't work. <laughs> You're going to want multiple types of units. Why? Otherwise, uh, again, too easy to counter. So, I'm a huge fan of throwing in units that cover each other's weaknesses. Like, for example, if I'm making lots of cavalry, you know, pikemen are just the obvious solution here. And pikemen make all your problems go away. Magic drugs make all your problems go away. And what this means is that if I throw in some hand cannoneers to counter those preemptively, then I, I win the video game. Easy sneezy. Yeah, I, I, I realize that a, a subtle Koa Carboxylase. Oh, your name is just too hard. Nice wolf. Um, yeah. But also in AOE2 HD, sometimes they just don't do anything. Uh, sometimes. Usually it's a human error. If I just get all these upgrades, Imperial Camels look sick. Whoever did the art for uh, the Forgotten just did a great, great job. Oh, you want unit production buildings? We got unit production buildings. One, two, three, four. Perfecto. Get that trade line rolling. 
I'm already low on gold. It's gonna stay that way for a while. Start moving out now. Once chemistry's done, I'll get my siege weapons. I'm really, I just think I should probably just start poking on them. I really, it, it, the problem with Oasis is I can't show mercy as easily. As easily as I'd like to. I'm assuming that uh, Hutch Kids is going to sit like a system on this side. My teammates combined should be able to take care of this. Well, that's a scary looking army. Good job, team. Mm. Oh, I know it's 300 pop and truce. I know. Oh, wow. You know, camels are actually okay against this army, if I'm being honest. He's actually tolerable. Killed all of his, uh, killed all of his mangonels, which is really all I want to do. At this present point in time. Why don't I play on the Forgotten? That's a really good question, as I'm playing on the Indians right now. <laughs> no, dude, I I'm playing on the Forgotten right now. It's, like, literally all I play. Because I, I think it keeps the game fresh. It keeps the game real fresh. Oh, dude, Phoenix Graven, my friend. I know I left this gate open, but are you sure you want to be in here right now, at this present point in time? So I'm going to say you probably don't, unless you've brought your friends. Touch Kiz with his army of... I might need help. I might need some assistance. That is a little scarier. That's a little scarier. Without my uh, without enough hand cannons, that could be, be bad news bears for me. I must have clicked stone mining and not gold mining. Whoops. I wonder I am poor as hell. More trade cards, more trade cards. Sell resources. Carry your side, I trust you. Oh, okay. This is, uh, this is a little bit on the bad news bears side of things. But my base is kind of safe, so whatever, man. Should be okay. I don't have a hole in my wall. I just have to get an open gate. Slight difference. Slight difference. Well, Bill, playing some AoE. Uh, samurai and helps are, are really annoying. That's just... Uh, What's a damper on my pamper, man? You got a lot of hand cannoneers. I wanted to make tons of camels, Hutchkiz. Why you gotta why you gotta counter them like that? It's not good. Actually, I'm probably okay. Alright, not bad. You know, again, preemptive counters here. I got the hand cannoneers to back up my Imperial camels, and this is kind of a tricky army to deal with, so yeah. Not bad. Worked out uh, nicely. I mean Imperial camels got pretty good stats. They're decent, they're decent. So there's a gap in my mom. Exactly. <laughs> Jesus. Mass elephant archers. Ain't nobody got money for that. How's this going? So far, so good. They might want something to deal with the huskarls. The huskarls are fantastic against this army comp. Maybe some champs are in order. They use this uh, lull in the game to get some upgrades. Oh man, ballistics always good. All right. Your dad works at Nintendo. Is that true? Okay. I got I got a lot of stuff, and I, I would like to apologize in advance on behalf of the state of California. Phoenix Graven, I'm going in. I'm going in. It ain't going to be pretty. Oh, this army comp is just a pain in the butt to deal with. I'll tell you. My face works at your face. Nailed it, Wasabi. Nailed it. Res, res. Oh, man. Ooh, that's quite the defensive line you've got there. Sure would be a shame if something happened to that. Let me just get Siege Engineers real fast. The research is real slow. Alright, I think I need uh, I think I need a lot more bombards before I go in. But I should be able to pick up a couple of dudes for free in the meantime. Try and uh, protect these. Really, Scission? That's super cool. That's super duper cool. Thank you for that uh, that Facebook uh, message yesterday, by the way. It was really funny. Cheer me up a little bit. Oh, I'm sieging you. I'm straight up sieging you. All these hand cannoneers. It's like the Indian's dream right here. This is exactly what they were built to do. They were made for this. Literally. Skynetto up to imp. 
Soon to be the artist formerly known as Skynetto. Oh, that's a scary looking army. I like this! He's using the Turks' a new unique technology in the Forgotten that gives their Cav Archers bonus HP. I like this a lot. Now here's the problem with his castle placement, and why I am a huge advocate for defensive castles. This broadcast brought to you by Defensive Castles. Guys, if you put your castle right here, I mean, sure, that's uh, that's gonna slow me down for like a few seconds, but I mean, I can just I can just carefully siege that one down with like bombard cannons or trebs. And what are you gonna do? Walk into my army and try and take out my trebs? I like to put my my castles like this in my eco so that if someone slips into my base, my economy is still protected by these castles. I don't have to pull back my my army to have to go defend my base if my economy uh, is starting to get raided and under siege. I won't have to pull back as much of an army uh, or really divert my military over there because it, it's all nice and protected. Now, Onager's really good choice here is they will be able to take my clump range units as I back up, but it looks like he's not focused firing those down. Should be able to take that out with the bombards. But yeah, my army covers the weaknesses quite well, and yeah, putting a castle like this right at the front of your walls, I mean, really all that does is stop me from, like, sending in some battery rams or champions to kill the walls inefficiently. It doesn't really accomplish anything. Uh, it's like putting a band-aid on a bullet wound. I really like using my castles as a powerful way to deter people from raiding my economy, rather than putting them in a range that's easily, like, easily, easily trebbed. Like, if I started trebbing this castle, what could you possibly do? My treb would basically be in, in a very easily defensible position for me. It'd be, like, even behind my walls, maybe. So, I don't know, man. I don't really, I don't really like the... That's not where I would put the castles, I guess. <laughs> GG Phoenix, man. Sorry for the camel rush, dude. You did your best. You did your best. And now it is time to duel. I saw like the funniest thing uh, on YouTube. It was like the uh, Darud Sandstorm song. Yeah, you know, everybody knows at this point. But it was like a Yu-Gi-Oh remix of it. So it was like, it's time to do 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 I didn't know that I needed that in my life, but apparently I did. You know, res GG. Sure. I mean, that, that, that could be an emote that... Again, I'm looking for, like, emotes that are usable out of, like, very odd specific situations. I mean, I guess, like, res boom, you know, since I boom a lot, but... I don't know, it's, like, only when I'm booming in AoE. Whereas, like, something like, you know, the, the, the tissue thing, we can use that. It's, like, quite a bit rigged. Uh, you know, GG, yeah. I play a lot of games. In fact, that's, like, literally all I do. I got a really fun idea planned for April Fool's Day, guys, by the way. I really hope that uh, I get a lot of you guys to show up. It's not going to be AoE, but it's better that it's not AoE. Because once you guys see this game, you'll be like, man, where has this game been all my life? I'm going to show you guys the most bizarre game I've... One of the most bizarre games I've ever played. You guys will appreciate it, because it's kind of similar to AoE. Uh, but... It's missing everything that makes AoE... Well, I, you, you'll have to see. I'm not going not gonna to spoil it, because I don't want you guys to look it up online. I want some genuine reactions. When you see it on the screen... Oh, man, is it going to be... Is it going to be horrifying? Scary for life. Not really. It's an amazing... It's an amazing game that I can't believe exists. And I'm lucky enough to have a copy of it. This game is rare, too. Oh, it's just fascinating. It is a strategy game, so it's, a, it's relevant. You guys are going to love it. It'll blow your mind. Like, people people have been clamoring for AoE 4. We don't need it anymore when we've got this <laughs> masterpiece. You have to see it too. I'm telling you. It's the Rock of Ages. Not quite. Maybe maybe someday. <laughs> this game, this game. We build the hype now. April Fool's Day, it's coming. It's coming. April Fool's Day, guys. April 1st. Oh, yeah. This would be a stupid, stupid stream. Gary's mod, better. Populous, better. No, I guarantee. There's maybe, maybe one, maybe there's like one dude out there who watches uh, the stream or watches this video who's like, oh, I know what game he's talking about. There's only one game in the world that Rez would love this much, uh, and that, that he's never showed off for good reasons. Uh, there's, there's only one. There's only one incredibly bizarre strategy game that Rez would be obsessed with besides AV2. There's only one. And I haven't shown it off yet. And you'll see why. <laughs> oh, there's only one. I guarantee that none of you have ever heard of this. And I'll explain why none of you have ever heard of this, too. When you see the game itself, it'll become apparent why no one ever played this game. Uh, there's a reason. 
Let me just say that the developers had the, their heart in the right place, but it was uh, executed rather interestingly. Well, thank you, Shimazo, for the donation. I, I appreciate it, especially knowing that you know, you're a little parked for cash at the moment. Thank you, dude. Helps me out a lot. And yeah, I, I really want to keep the bar of you know, quality for my content high. I never want to become the PewDiePie of AOE, I guess. We'll go with that. N no, nothing against PewDiePie. I love, the, I love that guy, sure. We don't judge where I come from, but it's not the style of content that I would, I would personally do, I guess. I always want to keep the bar, uh, the bar high, and by you guys, you know, continually leaving me, you know, comments telling me what you like, it helps me do more of what you guys like, keep things on the right track. Constructive feedback, really, really important, and you guys have been really good about that, and I want to keep the, I want to keep the quality good. That's why I, I, I'm a big fan of Quality over quantity, that's why I don't stream as often as other channels do, or upload as often, because I want to make it so when something shows up in your inbox, you're like, oh, that was really good. And if it takes me, like, I had to look it up, so it's here. Nice. Well, when it, um, you know, when it takes me, like, 12 takes to do one of those, uh, War is Coming games, like, do a, a commentary on Expert Mash, it takes me, like, 12 takes, which, <laughs> some of them have taken me 12 takes. I think I just cannonballed my own camel to death. That's metal. Uh, yeah, when it takes me 12 takes, I think it's worth it, as long as it, it comes out good. Because I think you guys deserve good stuff, and especially for the pro players in the game, I think that they deserve they deserve a good commentary to do them justice. I would much rather cancel a stream for the day if I'm feeling shitty, rather than uh, just do it feeling shitty and just have a bad stream. That's just my thing. Good night! See you on Sunday! Alright, well, good night, uh, F. Jumps and Gums. Good to have you, dude. There's an excuse for being shit. You caught, you caught me, Jack Cuts. You caught me. Guilty as charged, boys. You got me, man. Now this is gonna be. This game is gonna take a little bit, but that's why I don't lock the lock the speed. And now I'm just floating cash. Does anyone? Uh, does anyone on my team need money? I don't know, dude. Either way, I'm moving in. I'm gonna huff and I'm gonna puff. Blow this wall down. Mr. Hutchkiz, tear down this wall! It's a lot of scary looking infantry he's got there, but I have enough hand cannoneers that should be able to take this out. His army comp was really good against my initial army of camels, but I threw in so many hand cannons that he could use some range support with this maybe. Maybe a couple of onagers in here. The infantry is scary, but it, it needs he needs something to deal with the hand cannoneers too. Well balanced army guys, multiple types of units that cover the weaknesses of your other units. Secret to winning games. If you threw in some monogris, his army would be super good. All this wood line. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Snowball much? Indeed. Alright, well, I'm just pushing, pushing, pushing. I wonder if there's a vill over here. I doubt it. Well, moving in. Might have too many bombards. What to say? Where is this game from? Technically 1999, but this is the HD remake on Steam, so, uh, when did this thing come out? Oh shit, he actually made Onagers! Oh god, oh, Hutchkiz, you asshole! That's 50 dudes! For the price of two Onagers. Alright boys, we, uh, Houston, slight, slight problem. Oh shit, he actually did it! Oh man. Oh man, Hutchkiz, why, why do you have to take my advice, dude? Oh man, I should just give terrible advice from here on out. N never make counter units, guys. Make nothing but one type of unit. Just don't even make military. Don't even make villagers. Don't even play. Just, just, just build a palisade wall around your town center at the start of the game, just so your villagers can't get out. Just do that. That's how you. That's how you win. Ah oh, shit! All oh, the militia. It's too scary. Oh my god! I lost 50 guys there. I'll tell you guys, Onager is the great equalizer. That's how you trade efficiently with your opponent when you're behind in a military deficit. Trade a couple of units uh, in the time it takes to create a mangonel. Uh, you know, like you it, basically, if you trade one mangonel for like ten crossmen, that's really amazing because it takes way longer to make ten crossmen than it does to make one mangonel, and the crossmen will also cumulatively cost more. You trade really efficiently with those. Leave a camel over there to slowly raise those buildings. Why not? Never give advice again, you're right. That castle, I, this is ambitious. This is really, 
I was really ambitious. <laughs> you gotta believe, man. I like it. Never give up, never surrender. This one, right in range of my huge army of bombards. Oh, man. Sniped indeed. I do need military buildings near the front line, but I'm lazy, I victorious. We've basically already won this game. Enemy team just kind of stalling. I don't want to make this two parts, dude. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I hate it when I have to do that. It's too much editing for me. All right. Let's come to this. Oh, he actually made onagers, but he's missing siege engineers, which means he has one less range, which means I have a much better chance at sniping his guys with my bombard cannons before they get a chance to fire. I should really stop killing my stuff, though. That's just... Oh, man. Dude, Bill Marini is maybe... I think we'd still shit on them, though. Like, that's the thing. They won't have time to react. Because in the early game, uh, it's okay to make only one type of unit. Like, you'll see players make, you know, make nothing but knights in the Castle Age, for example, for, for a while. And that's because it can be really tricky to... It's not it's not efficient to, to, to deck into pikemen, for example. That's why knights are so good, because even though pikemen are more cost-efficient when you trade them, for one, a pikeman doesn't win in a 1-1-1 fight, which means that you, you kind of have to have those guys masked up for it to really be able to compete here. I'll make a couple of elephant archers, sure. Like they gotta, they gotta, they gotta get the, they gotta get the tech, and they gotta get a lot of, a lot of them. Like you have to research pikemen for knights to be able to, I mean, for your pikemen to be able to compete with said knights. You have to research pikemen, and, and pikemen cost quite a bit of money. It's gonna really weaken your eco in the early game. So that's not usually an ideal situation. So have to research pikes, and you gotta get like tracking, you gotta get all those upgrades. Knights are good right off the bat. You don't need anything for them. But ideally, you know, defensive upgrades and bloodlines are good, but they're still good without those. GG, well played. Prefer if uh, they'll resign now and not, not stall this out forever because some of their dudes are dead. Really prefer that. So the video is not too long. So yeah, hope that makes sense to you guys. Like pikemen, is not is not viable really to to tech into that. And, and, and let's say your opponent doesn't have any knights, or they stop making knights, and you got a bunch of pikemen. What are you gonna do with the pikemen? You can't raid with pikemen. You can't threaten to kill a TC with pikes. So you know, going for only one type of unit in the early game can work out. I mean, you'll see players make nothing but crossbows and nothing but archers for a while. It's just in the late game when players have enough eco and they get those upgrades. That's when trading efficiently really starts to matter. I know only one type of unit in the entire game seems interesting until you realize that the game will be far over before uh, that becomes a disadvantage to us. You're probably going to make only one type of unit in the early game anyway. Uh, yeah. And, and since the higher rate of players are just faster and more efficient, uh, please resign. I, I know it's not super BM to ask someone to resign, but like drawing the match out when you have no chance of winning is not makes the makes the game unnecessarily long, I guess. Thank you for resigning, I appreciate it, Hutchkiss. So yeah, making only one type unit near the game. As fun as that would be, uh, we would destroy them before it becomes a relevant uh, disadvantage, I think. Wow, 800 units killed, 300 lost. Indians, OP. Halloran says the sieve is bad. A lot of people don't like the sieve. But I mean, come on, man. This one, this one example of them working, oh, that just that's this one example, man. That's all you need. This one anecdotal piece of evidence proves Indians OP. This one video. <laughs> this one ideal situation where everything worked out. Indians OP, guys. Confirmed on stream. We figured it out, guys. Confirmed. Or, or maybe, maybe the alter the alternate hypothesis is that villagers OP, and that I just had a lot of villagers, and that uh, Amazon, aka Forest, had a lot of bills, Land of Liam had a lot of bills. You know what? I'm seeing I'm seeing a trend here, guys. It seems like the winning team had at least half the max pop of the game as villagers, uh, and that that is why we, we we won this game. Actually, yeah, that's probably it. Ooh, that's always fun, uh, Alexander Law, and, and I, I'm I'm totally in into that unless like. You know, it's like a, unless I'm like recording, because then, just, then you know, we have like a, a 90 minute video where the last of it is just me searching at enemy bills. It's, it's kind of not the most watchable thing. You can see right there, this is the Onager Blasts uh, from Hutchkiz. Onager Blast, Onager Blast. <laughs> oh man, Onagers, this is, this is a good choice to tech into those. Then his army suddenly becomes super scary. Uh, Shimaza, you gotta enter the drawing. And I, I, can't, I can't do too many routine exceptions. Uh, no fun for anyone. People tend to complain. 
And that was a fun game. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. That was, a, that was a good one. You see here, secret to success, huge eco. That way you got enough money to, you know, replenish your army much quicker than your opponent. Makes a big difference here. Also allows you to build up faster. Just keep your town center always working, always making bills or researching something, and you're good to go. Alright guys, GG Well Played was a very, very solid game. Not the closest, but it did drag out for a little bit. My teammates did good work. Good work indeed. Bizarre to see the, uh, the flush on our pocket a little, a little interesting. Okay, so, uh, basically, I explain the drawing rules every single time I do one. Don't worry about it. See ya, Agro J Dog. Be back in 15. Sounds good, Straw Hat Tanger. GG. GG Phoenix Graven. So, yeah, if you enjoyed watching this video, uh, please do leave me a like rating as always, as it does help me out quite a bit until you start a YouTube channel. You don't realize how important those are for the search results. Oh, man. Oh, man. It is, it is good stuff. So yeah, if you enjoyed watching this video, you'll also probably enjoy the rest of the stuff that I have on my YouTube channel. Got plenty of other Age of Empires 2 videos there, as well as videos of other games. So if you like this one, you'll probably like those as well. And as always, guys, thank you so much for the support. Appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Or if you're watching this live, I'll see you all in about you know, one to two minutes. So yeah, don't go anywhere, guys. GG Well Played, and we'll be right back with more AV2 action, action, action.